Oh, the CD disc. How nostalgic. They were the best new thing just a few years ago. But now, how do you get all that lovely data off those discs and onto something a little bit more useful? Yes, I'm of an age where I remember that CDs and DVDs were just the best thing. None of that rewinding and fast forwarding of the cassette tape and how amazing to have all of that data just there on that little disc. But now the challenge is to rediscover all of that stuff that is currently stuck on those discs. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get the data off those discs and get it back into your life. Step one, get a disc drive. When was the last time you saw a disk reader on any laptop or desktop? If you do have a computer that has a disk drive in it, then it probably weighs a ton and is as slow as a slug on salt. That is if you can turn it on at all. So it's not going to be a great option to get your data off those disks. But what you can do is buy an external disk drive to connect to your new speedy computer to act like an external drive. My favorites are the Asus Zen drive, which has a great spec and both USB-A and USB-C connections. So perfect for the job. On the Mac, there is the USB super drive, but watch out, it comes with a USB type A, the little square one, which nice new Macs don't have. Are they trying to tell us something? So you will have to get another little cable to be able to convert it to be able to plug it into the USB-C sockets. Sorry. Step two, copy the data with help. Yes, it sounds so simple. Just select the data and copy it over. Some disks will just give it up and this is simple. You just copy and paste but some will need a little bit of help and this is where some helpful programs can come in. CD Roller To start, there is CD Roller, which is free for both the PC and Mac and it can be used to create, burn, copy CDs and DVDs and recover your data. It is simple and to the point. Put in your disk, select recover all, where you want it to be saved and it will save your data directly from the disk to that location. But you may find some strange looking files with a VOB VOB extension and a number of them cutting your lovely video into pieces. CD Roller will copy these files as they are. They will still play on things like VLC player, but you will have to splice them back together to have it as a stream of videos. But don't worry, I do have a solution that will recover and convert those files for you. Winx DVD Ripper. Winx DVD Ripper is a DVD ripping software that can be used to copy and convert DVDs to various video and audio formats. It's also capable of removing DVD copy protection so you can rip even copy protected DVDs. Don't tell anyone. There is a free version, but you can also trial the platinum version before you invest. To use Winx DVD Ripper, just put your disc in and select Disc DVD at the top. Then say the output you want. I tend to go for MP4 for videos as it's the most universal option. And then you can select the titles you want to be converted. Say where you want to save it and click go. Then you have the data where you want it and in a format that is usable. Now I have found that some disks do not want to give up their data, especially old audio files. And if you load them up into CD Roller or WinX DVD Ripper, the disk will just show as blank when you know there is data on there. I do have a solution. It's not perfect. It doesn't convert the files like WinX DVD, but it will get your data off that disk and you can convert it elsewhere. ISO Buster. IsoBuster is a data recovery software that can be used to recover data from damaged or corrupt disks, hard drives, USB flash drives, you name it. It is a powerful tool that can even recover data that has been deleted or overwritten. To use IsoBuster, just pop your disk in and select it as the drive. Right click on the folder on the left hand side and select to extract the data. Say where you want it to save and it will do its magic. It is that simple. Step three, scratch and recycle. Once you are happy that you've got all the data of your vintage disc, you could keep them for your museum collection, use them to decorate your walls, or even use them to protect your plants outside as a sort of scarecrow. 
Yes, I've seen that one. But if you don't have any crazy uses for them, then I would make sure you give your disks a good old scratch so that no one else can get the data off them. Then in some parts of the world, you can recycle those disks and their containers. So check out your local options. So there you have it, how to get your data off your CDs. Do you know any other great tools to help recover all that data stuck on your CD disks? Leave them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Well, then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos. That can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like and a share and go all the way and have a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.